Coach, me ate juca, tá? Ah. So, what's up, guys? Good on you. What's up? Is there water, guys? Is there water in the fridge? Yeah, there's water in the fridge. Is there? Is there? Nothing left. Everyone good? Everyone good? Yeah. So, Edmund. Get water. Get water. Get hydrated. Congratulations on the win. Uh, last person to meet Brad Tavares, <coughs> now UFC middleweight champion. How far do you think you are from a title shot, and how do you think you match up with Izzy? Um, I think I match up well against him, but you know, we're taking one fight at a time. We're going to get there soon. I want to be the youngest champion. Did what? you expect the fight to end that quickly? Uh, the last fighter to, to knock out Tavares <coughs> in the first round was Robert Whitaker. Did you feel like you, you could do the same? You know, I believe uh, the right shot, with the right shot, anyone can go out and it was all about staying relaxed and not rushing in there, and we did that, and we got the finish. Does this win feel bigger with it being at Madison Square Garden and you know uh, doing it in, in such a big card like this? Oh, for sure. You know, fighting at the Garden, you know, the president is president is coming too, so it was a great win. Did that give you a boost when you found out who was going to be on this card? Yeah, you know, it was it was crazy once I found out. <laughs> Can you talk about that finish? How'd you set it up? Uh, you know, coach coach was telling me mix it up because I was jabbing. I was I kept jabbing, jabbing. He told me mix it up at start with the right hand, and I. Started with the right hand, caught him with the right hand, and he got rocked, and then I went for the finish. With the kick, how just put the kick? Oh, the kick, yeah, I, was, I knew he was rocked, so I threw the kick right after. Like, I wanted to mix it up, but I knew he thought punches were going to come. I created distance, threw the kick, and landed, and went down. Tavares was a, a little bit of a step up on competition for you. Who do you see next? So what, what is your goal, and what do you see for your future? Um, definitely for the future, I want to be the champion. But, you know, I guess Tavares, well, well, he was ranked, I think, 11. So I guess this puts me somewhere around the top 10. And hopefully an opponent there. We'll see. Whatever makes sense, you know. Evan, there's, there's a lot of people really excited about you right now. And that's just going to keep growing as you get bigger fights, more wins. How are you planning to kind of keep a level head and, you know, even keel and not let all the attention and, you know, fame and whatever's going to come your way get you? I never let any of that stuff get, get to me, you know. I stay humble, I stay calm always, you know, and I'm always back in the gym, you know. I take a week off, I'm back in the gym, whether it's lifting or working out technique, I'm constantly improving and getting better. I've been doing that from a young age, and this is where it's got me, and it's going to get me to bigger, bigger and things. You bring the Armenian flag out to uh, the octagon, and, you know, a lot of support from the Armenian community. What does that mean to you? A lot, you know. Uh, uh, in the East Coast, first time, in New York City, and holding, representing the Armenian flag. It was incredible. I saw the flags out there and it motivated me. Congratulations. That was an incredible performance, but how do you feel? I mean, you have only one, 21 wins and someone that you, you want to say to the division? Um, yeah, it was crazy. I'm, I'm about to turn 22, though, November 20th. Oh, yeah, so, right. yeah. Um, you, you said, is there anyone I want in the division? That you want to say to the division. Oh, say to the division? Yeah, you know, I believe I'm the new hot prospect in the division and I'm coming. You said you want to be the youngest champion. This was a, kind of a statement win tonight, finishing Tavares as quickly as you did. How far away do you see yourself from fighting for the title eventually? Um, How many fights? Have you I guess it matters who I match up with next, yeah. you know. And fight by fight, we'll see. I, whether it's like two, three fights or four fights, or whatever it is. Are you yeah. Did your uh, manager, Ronda Rousey, give you any advice going into tonight? Oh, uh, you know, Ronda, I, I haven't spoke to her today, but I guess I'll speak to her after the fight. I'll see. <laughs> but before, the, before, yeah, she always, you know, like, sends a positive energy and great messages. And how much of an inspiration is she? Big inspiration, you know. She, she, it's motivational having such a legend manage you, and, you know, it motivates me a lot. In terms of getting back out there, it's a short fight, right? So... Could you have a quick turnaround if the UFC gave you the right kind of fight? We'll see. You know, um, I, I'm a fighter. I'm not trying to rush anything, but I do want to be the young champion. But, you know, I take everything fight by fight and smart. You know, I want to be smart with my decisions. I'm young. I'm still improving. And whatever makes sense. So if you don't want to rush, but you have what, a year to, be, to set that record? What, how do you <clears> no, it's, it's 23 years and eight months. So <laughs> once, <laughs> once I, yeah. You have a, like, so basically, Barbara has a countdown. Okay, no, I don't have I don't have that kind of thing, you know. But a year and eight months, I guess. Sure. Yeah. How many days? I'm days. <laughs> eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. After okay. after your fight, you said to the division, "Watch out." Um, do you feel like you you had to send that message out, and do you feel like you know you're on uh, the contender's radar now with that performance? I believe so. You know, I, I think I'm the new hot prospect of the division, and I'm coming for that belt.
Last time uh, Tavares fought, he uh, went to a decision with Izzy. What does it say about you having, uh, you know, being able to get the finish against against Tavares? Oh yeah, you know, I found the right shots in there with Tavares. Capitalized on it. I stayed relaxed in there, picked my shots, and putting a guy like Tavares away, I think, is a good statement to the division, and I'm happy with it. <coughs> Um, cause uh, I like to finish fights, and I'm a rising star. I'm a, I keep improving every fight, I believe, and I'm just gonna keep improving. Thank you. Thank you. Are you gonna take any time off, or are you back in the gym one? One week I take off. You know, just like physically and mentally, just relax. You know, chill, enjoy New York City, and then I'll be back. You know, remember we were lifting strong, so we'll, I'm gonna lift a little bit. I'll, se I'll send you those 50. The clean 50 push-ups. <laughs> Your coach, Coach Edmund, was over there saying you're too humble, man. Do you think that's accurate? Why so humble, especially after such a good win? You know, it's just my character. I believe really, my personality. This is the way I was raised from a young age. And being humble, you know, I'm not trying to put no fake image out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.